back to Sister Circle Live. He's a rock and roll hall of famer, best known for psychedelic soul jams like I'd Rather Be With You, Ooh, Yeah, <laughs> and Bozilla. <laughs> and this funk music master continues his reign with a new hit just in time for All Hallows Eve, and it's called Monster Mush. Yes. Check it out. <laughs> All right, Monster Mash, please welcome down to the circle the one and only Bootsy Collins. Yeah. Yeah. Always, always. I'm to catch up with I you. mean, you're putting us to shame. <laughs> yes. I say your shop is attack out here. This don't make no sense. <laughs> trying to kind of stay up with y'all, you know? Yes. Well, in the spirit of today, tell us your most memorable Halloween moment. Oh, wow. My most. Well, um, I think when I went to the, the first time I went to the, you know, the haunted house. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, all these things start jumping out at you. The yes, goo. Yeah, I, like I mean, that. you never forget that stuff. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and um, you know that's why when we did this this uh, video this time, it was like it's got to be monsters and ghouls, man. I mean, right. you know, it's reminiscent <laughs> of um, thriller. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You have to have a new thriller. That's yes, that's, exact. What, that's what I thought about. What I was and, and with that kind of energy, you know, mm -hmm. so it's like um, that that affected me when I was growing up, and it was like I always wanted to do something like that yeah you know? i did that last year for the first time it was not fun <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't fun mm -hmm. well, well it's good for the kids <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, but speaking of the halloween season and costumes now in the 60s and 70s they were big on costumes yeah and you yeah. really just changed the game and turned up on costumes how important was it for you to merge your fashion with music and kind of make them one you know what I'm saying? Because it became so signature for you. Well, you know, when we was growing up, a brother had to be fly. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, you know, a brother just had to be fly. That's it. I mean, yeah. You know, and so I grew up under that, mm -hmm. and it was like, man, I always wanted to be. You know, I mm -hmm. always wanted to have these things. You know, I'm, you know, I'm, you know, me and my mother shopping at the Goodwill, mm -hmm. and, and so and the kids laughing, you know, mm -hmm. and and because and all of us poor. Right. All of us didn't have nothing, you know, so it was like uh, I learned to laugh at the kids laughing at me. Mm -hmm. So that gave me a chance to try different things, mm -hmm. colors that don't match and this, that. So I got a chance to try that and people stopped laughing so much yeah. because it started to become like, wow, he might be on to something. That's yeah, because right. you laughed yeah. all the way to the back. Yeah. That's all, that's all the way, way. Mm -hmm. all the way. Mm -hmm. you know, and, so. and you collaborated with the best, yes. like yeah. uh, James Brown, George Clinton. How, how has their magic helped you find your magic? Oh, uh, wow. I, I guess it would be like um, James Brown would be like the ABC guy, basics, you know, uh, you learn discipline, you know, like in the Army, that kind of thing. Oh, wow. George was like, Give me that funk. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, Whatever you got, I want some of it. Yes. You know? And and that's how it kind. Of, and I was in the middle of that, mm -hmm. you know, James Brown and George, because they they both totally different, you know. And yes. so I got a chance to absorb all of that. And I mean, when you name artists like that, I just think of true soul, true funk. Yeah. Back then, it seems like music was more what received better right, um, right do you think that it's the same nowadays how do you think music has changed as far as acceptance soul music as far as acceptance from then to now well you know the deep thing is it changed <laughs> right before our eyes yeah you know um while we were watching it was changing yes you know and we just didn't know where it was going mm -hmm. you know and we really still don't know but it's just it's it's like um uh, for me it's like if you could put feelings in a bottle, you could sell that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, um, it's like sampling was putting feelings in a bottle. Yes. And it was yeah. for sale, you know? Mm -hmm. So, you know, we had to actually go and create, really create mm -hmm. the music, mm -hmm. you know? And, and it's just different. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing wrong with what's right. going on today. Right. It's just, 
We had a different approach. We had a different approach. Well, Bootsy, approach. we're having a funky good time yeah. with you, and it will continue after the break. So if you're sticking around, you'll get more Bootsy, and he'll also be joined by his beautiful wife, Peppermint Patty. Yes! yes. Oh, Peppermint <laughs> also, you make sure you check out Bootsy's new sp uh, uh, spooky hit, Monster Mash, on all digital streaming platforms. And don't forget, the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. <laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We're still keeping it funky, baby. Yeah, and fantastic. Funky, right? Right on. With the living legend himself, Bootsy Collins. And now yeah, he's joined by his beautiful wife, Peppermint Patty, as we promised, y'all. Welcome, welcome to Sister welcome, Circle. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for having us. <laughs> we are so excited oh, to be here. We're excited we're to excited have you We're excited to have you, yes. Yeah. Thank but you. I have to ask you guys, because I'm all into love right now, and how did you guys meet and know I'm that you were the one for each other? At the gym. <gasps> At the gym? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's funny. Yes, the yes. Deep, the deep thing was I was running from, like, you know, the girl thing. I was like, you know, it's like I was trying to find myself. You mm -hmm. know, it's like I had did so much of of so much mm -hmm. uh, unheard of stuff mm -hmm. at that time. It was yes. like I needed to get away. And so I started, you know, doing the exercise thing. And mm -hmm. Just working out. Yeah, yeah and, and dude outside. told me, man, you need to meet this, this uh, aerobics teacher over here. I was like, no. Nah. I'm like, <laughs> done with him. I'm, you know, I'm like, done. You know, I, I needed to get away from everything, mm -hmm. you know. And he was like, no, you wants to meet her, you know. <laughs> And, and, I so, and so I was saying, I said, well, will you tell her to come on over here and meet, you know, tell her to come on over here, you know, you know, the no, man, no, the man no. thing. And I you said, know. no. I know, that's why. My mother did not raise me. Oh. My parents did not raise me that way. <laughs> she <laughs> me was alive back then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, but we oh. met and went on a bike ride, but I didn't know who he was. Mm. That was the good part. Yes. I did not know I who I needed to was. find yes. somebody uh, that didn't know who in the heck I was. I didn't know. It was, like, it was like everybody was just wearing me out. Yeah. You know, it was like, <laughs> I need somebody that don't know who. And she, you know, I met her, and she was like, uh, oh, your name is William? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, she really don't know who I am. Mm. Yeah. You know, and so that, that's what clicked with, yes. with me and her. How did you yeah. guys sustain in, in an industry that's really al almost designed for couples to not make it? You know, you see a lot of famous couples that don't really make it. How did you all, what was the staying power? What was the ingredients to stay together? I think just being honest and, you know, she know who I am. Mm -hmm. You know, I know who she is, you know, and, you know, she jumped in and started doing stuff she wasn't used to doing. Mm -hmm. And so, but she wanted to help me. Mm -hmm. yep. And so when you get that kind of thing, you know, it's like, you need to help each other, mm -hmm. you know. And so yeah. we started helping each other without saying, let me help you, you know. Mm. It, it just, it was just an automatic thing. Uh, you know. well, How long you been together? Yeah. Oh, that was, I was about to ask oh, that question. Oh, my goodness, since 1988. <laughs> I know. Uh -huh. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Uh -huh. 1988. Yeah. He took me for a bike ride for the first little date and uh, it's been on ever since. Mm. Right. I was I was still right. fooling around. I was I mean to be honest, I was still fooling around, but when it came to what, nineteen ninety six? We got married in ninety six. Ninety six. I said to you know, I said I told my mother, I said, Mom, I'm getting ready to, you know, um, you know, I'm cutting all this other stuff out because mama was through with me. Oh, now, y'all didn't hear me. She was through with me with the chicks. You was okay? turning up, huh? turning up, yeah. turning up. Good yeah. God today. Speaking of turning up, we just recently heard that you made an announcement that you can no, no longer play on the stage yeah. for your doctor, yeah. but yeah. you're taking it in stride because yeah. you have a new mentorship yeah. for up-and-comers. Yeah. And tell us about the Bootsy Foundation. Oh, well, she, she's really good with, you know, she, she's really stood up and took that and she's running with it because I ain't no good. I mean, you know, I'm, you know she, she's the one. So it's she's the Bootsy Collins Foundation. Yes. And we have several little programs, but one that's totally dynamite is uh, Say It Loud, an instrument for every child. Mm -hmm. So we give instruments to children. Mm -hmm. And then we blow the whistle on bullying. So we're the mm -hmm. groomer girls. And, you know, we really work with children and lifting their self-esteem. So that's who we are, and we just we just love it. And yeah. Since 2010, we've been in action. Well, you, uh, mentorship is not the only thing you guys are doing. You have your own wine line. Thank you. Check that out. Uh, this is a good time. Yes. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Boosie, did you spearhead this? 
Yes. yes, you did. Yeah. So it's yes. wine yes. and beer. Yes. Wine and beer. Wine yes. and beer. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. 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 You know, we grew up on MD Double Twenty. You know. <laughs> and now. <laughs> You know, I mean, you so know. You got that mad wine. dog 2020, everybody. Right, right, you got right. your wine. You got your, you know, all the, all the names. Yes, right. like you got your wine, the Bootzilla Rocks wine, and you got your Bootsy Brewski IPA wine yes. beer. Yes. And you yes. got a cooler that you can keep your beer in, so. Yes, and here's the beer. BootsyCollins.com, you can get it all. Mm, we I'm love you, Funketeer. Take a break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. What encouraged you, though, to do a wine line? I mean, out of all the things that you could have done, what encouraged you to do wine and beer? Well, I know one thing happened. We were on tour and we walked into a hotel and there was a gentleman there and he said, I love Bootsy and I want to make his wine. Mm. And we said, okay. okay. So that's how that started. And then uh, Fretboard, who is our beer distributor in Ohio, mm, nice. what they did, they give back to communities. Mm, so nice. they wanted to partner with the Bootsy Collins Foundation. Yay. So every beer we sell, money goes towards the foundation oh, to help our kids. Yeah. That's amazing. Cool, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, but I, I can't let you leave without asking this question. Yeah. What artists today do oh. you think are still keeping it funky? <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> Ever since Outkast came through and did their whole thing, they reminded mm -hmm. me more of what we were doing, but even with a, a more fresher, you know, trip on it. Mm -hmm. And since they came through, I haven't really. I mean, I've I seen different artists like, mm -hmm. like her, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and, I mean, Snoop been keeping it alive. It's been a few people that's been keeping the spirit alive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, Janelle. It, but yeah, Janelle. Uh, actually, we did some stuff with. Yeah, Janelle you know, Monet and, uh, and um, um, Saint Beauty. Saint Beauty, mm. right here and, in Atlanta. And so, you know, it's it's kind of difficult to because it's different. It's, it's a different very different stuff. era right you now. Know, it's yeah. changing. But yeah. thank you so guys for joining us on this amazing day and make sure you Are show Boosie's new funky hit Monster Mash some love. It's yeah. available on all music uh, streaming platforms. And to find out more about his foundation and beer and wine brand, visit thebootcave.com.